if she's on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Okay. Aubrey, psst, Aubrey. What the? What the heck are you guys doing here? I want to give you back Basil's photo album. Still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business. We also be best friends, but now this is none of my business. Yeah, Cal. Exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mario would be really sad to hear that. Yeah. Really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Oh. I knew she was dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I got the idea of new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends were there for me when I needed them. That's what this is all about. When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. I think it's all so simple. It's always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him. Important to all of us. Doesn't mean you just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? The photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh, you're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace, but it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Cal. A lot's changes in four years. You and Brad think you just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. I look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. Hmm. The Aubrey you knew was long gone. And that Aubrey? That, and that Aub and the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? Should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No, I won't accept this. Wait, where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise to give Basil's photo on back, you thief. What's happening? I see you. You're not the boy who... seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well. Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Cal? I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath that carries around a knife. I don't have the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. We're fighting in a shirt. Well. This is how this goes. This is how this song and dance is going. Oh my god. That was a lot of damage. Look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Come on, let her live her life. <laughs> Basketball. Headbutts killed. Whiffed. 22 damage. Why are you here? I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, that's true, but you know. He did bring a baseball bat with nails in it. Spits on my shoe. Hey, come on. Not on my J's. What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. We're going through shit, alright? <laughs> Leave us alone. Why? Why now? Oh my god, Kel's getting fragged. No one needs to stop them. Where are their parents? I'm gonna use those, the first aid kit. Get his ass back to full health. Oh, 70! Oh my god, the girl's a threat to this neighborhood. There's no hope for sinners like her. Come on! She's, she's done. Yeah. Ugh. Forget it. You two aren't worth my time. Ah, uh, ever since her father left. Uh-oh. He's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Come on! Leave her alone! Oh. Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. 
Oh, did I goof? <laughs> Yo, what up, dude? Mm, I usually wouldn't condone fighting in the middle of a sermon, but that seemed really important. Garbery is coming every past year. She talks to anyone. I tried to approach her a few times. She keeps calling me her bad thing. She seems very troubled. Perhaps she could use a friend. Yeah. That's, I'm trying my best. We're going to go after her. Fuck these people. How dare they? She's a kid. You can't just insult her. She's angry. And going through stuff. Come on. Where's she at? We gotta go help her. You go back to her house? I don't know where she lives. Oh wait, probably. And uh does she live there? Why did oh, yeah. No, that's a photo album. I heard it. You see that? Aubrey just dumped something in her trash can. Let's go check it out. I don't want to knock on the door. Ah, That's sad. Everybody's going through stuff. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe you just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. And it only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five? Yeah! Let me do it. Yes! Mmm! Yeah! Friendship. Up high. Throw this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. No response still. Damn. Oh. Last time we went to Basil's house, we fucking got owned, so I'm nervous, I'll be honest. Knock knock, Basil! It's your friends Kel and Brad! Please be not a demon. Oh, hello there, who are you? Hi, Basil- Oh wait, you're not Basil. Uh, I'm sorry, my name is Polly, I'm Basil's caretaker. Caretaker? What's wrong with Basil? Oh, hey Kel, what is it? Hi, Basil, we got your photo album back. Oh, uh, you did? Wow, thank you. Yeah. Yay. So you can tell me you had friends coming over. Just like, yes, please. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Yes, please. Yay. Basil, I still feel bad for Aubrey. <laughs> Yay. I've, mi I've missed you, Basil. It's been forever. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow. It's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Ah, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came over here more often. Ah, oh, you sure are dedicated. Hell yeah. Yup, that's the still for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we've got your photo on back, we can all go through the photos together. Ah, uh, that's a... I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Come on, Basil. Be a bro. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Come on, dude. Let's look at our memories. Don't turn into a demon this time, please. Here it is. <gasps> is it going to be the watermelon picture? Nope. Is this... My first photo. It's my best bud. Oh, it's me. I have a violin. I'm sick. Starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister, Mari. So exciting. Just Calvi and Cal, baby. So many party hats. I love you, Cal. Me again. Playing video games on a couch. He's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering, but he never seems to mind. Of course, but still. I love you. We're back from the park, but Cal is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's going to win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Oof, sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing the hero in an arm wrestling last night, so here decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. These are the photos we had before. Showing Brad a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this one. I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Oh, <gasps> cuddle puddle. It's all of us cuddling with Brad stuffed animals. He has so many and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mari's teaching anyone how to make a flower crowns. Here's Brad and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so, too. 
Hero is still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. He did Meyer's Persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere in springtime. Aubrey asked me to take this picture of the new raincoat. It's her favorite, it's favorite color, pink. Hell yeah. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. Because <laughs> he likes how the rain tastes. <laughs> just Kel being Kel again. He went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave a jacket out and Kel was coming. Getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's pretty. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging his, tr his legs off a tree. Such a good climber. Wish I was as fearless as him. It's first day of summer vacation, so I wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Oh, Chad. Kel is cooling off with some refreshing orange dough. Shouldn't get too close, I'm gonna get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. <laughs> Help him! <laughs> we very Brad in the sand. It took forever. He looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder gonna need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. Oh. Oh my god, look at my face. I'm turning 12 today. Even though me, Brad, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Brad is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Oh. Brad's holding a super huge from Marion Hero. I wonder what it is. <laughs> it's me. Alright, it's on this photo of Marion Hero. Got Brad a giant building block set. Brad seems more interested in the box, though. He just, he acts like just like Mari's new kid, Miwo. Yeah. It's our cat. Brad won't leave the box so Kel put a food bowl inside. <laughs> I guess the box will be Brad and Miwo's no home. Aww. We're in beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Brad is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. <laughs> Went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel sees the commissioner was on accident, but I don't believe him. <laughs> First day of school. Me, Brad, and Kel and Aubrey are all bright up and early. Are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. That was the last one. That was good. This is some good photos. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Looks like a lot of photos are still missing. Maybe I already kept them for herself. Let's get those back later. I'm bright said, look how short I was. I've, I know I at least grew a foot since Hero left for college. Can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, but still, me and Brad will take care of things for you. Focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner's taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. That would be lovely. Please follow me to the kitchen. This is the kitchen is this way. Yo, oh, he's zooming! How you doing, Basil? Oh, hi, Brad. Hey. It's nice to finally see you again, huh? Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, Brad, is everything okay? Okay. <laughs> Tonight, for dinner, we'll be making chicken vegetable soup. How's that sound? Soup and veggies? Sounds nutritious and delicious. You really think so? It's afraid you'd be a bit disappointed. People always tell me it tastes a bit, like, bit bland. Don't worry what other people think. All food is good to me. I'll eat anything you throw at me. It'll be ready soon. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Okay. Go sit on the couch, I guess. Can't do that. <sighs> What's back here? Am I supposed to be just exploring their house? It makes me nervous. Who the fuck is this? This grandma's breathing steadily. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Oh! A white aggregate orchid? I don't know, flowers. In the language flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. That's so nice. Uh oh. Oh, Red, didn't expect to see you in here, huh? Hey. How are you doing, Brad? Is everything okay with you? Okay, never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know? She hasn't been fearing very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it?